is going on ladies and gentlemen Halo Fan today here today and today I'm gonna do my top eleven I'm sorry not five not ten but eleven most favorite figures um so sorry I have not made a video in a while I just posted one today this is gonna be the second one I post today so yeah super cool if you guys haven't already checked out my channel or if you guys do follow me on my channel um it's I just posted a video of me uh on opening a Halo Mega Box Mystery Figure Series 7 Elite Zealot with the Black CQB. So, yeah, super cool. So, I thought I'd just do my top favorite, most, top 11 most favorite figures. So, here's the package. Excuse me. Here's the package that just came in um, today. So, here's my top 11 most figures. Oh, yeah, this is just all my codes that I wrote down for all those mystery packs over there. Um, there's about 100 of them. And so there's all those. And there's also duplicates. So these are all singles, but there's duplicates so as well. So yeah, so here's my top 11 most favorite figures. If you guys want to count, there's five there. Five there. And then 11. So, yeah. I just built this little stand for them today. Or I just built this little stand for them all to sit on. The Prophet being the most special. And just sitting on the top of demo. And I got extra space over here to fit extra gummies when I get them. So, like the active camo jackal. Hopefully I'm getting him. So yeah, so the first figure that is my most favorite. I'm going to go from first to being my least favorite. And then last to being my favorite favorite. So here we have the Brute Chieftain from the Halo Magbox Pelican Air Base, which is down there, along two more of my Pelicans. The super cool figure, uh, I had a problem with him and the Zealot over there. Uh, the Zealot is the one I just opened today, along with that guy right there. Um, but, because he falls off his base easily and he twists so much easier, and the top of the Brute Chieftain's head is, is all rubbery, and so I can't push down his head to help him fit on the base, so that's pretty, pretty tough. Then I have El Morame, or Morami, Arbiter from Phantom. I do not have a Phantom, but I do have one of the White Pilots right there. And I also have them right there, because one, I had to replace one of them. I think it was that one, because the ball joint in it completely broke inside the head, so I ordered another one. So El Morami from Phantom and from Halo 4. No, Halo Wars. And then you have Mickey, also from, uh, that came with that guy, Brute Chieftain, from that set. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, he's pretty cool, um, he's a named figure, and he's just super cool. Then you have the Translucent Blue Elite Zealot over there. Super cool. Uh, I like him, but he just twists way too easily, and it was super hard to even put him and the black CQB together because my fingers hurt like crap and I felt like I was going to break them. Break the figures I mean. Then we have the black CQB with the um, set no beam and he also comes with a translucent blue needler and he also comes with the gravity hammer that's just completely silver. My only one which is pretty cool actually. So black CQB uh, he is a rare for Series 7. So, yep. Then you have the Series Charlie Gummy. Uh, Green Hazop from Series Charlie. Uh, I actually traded him with a friend. So I did not open that myself. And then I have the Half Active Camel. That's how Jane Brick said it. Camel. Half Active Camel. Um, Jackal. Super cool. He's the Ultra Rare. I did not get the right side. Hope that I didn't assume. And... This guy, I have no idea what he is. Can't tell. Um, I think it's Protector. I have no idea. But he came with the battle pack. But he's still a translucent figure, so he's one of my favorites. And then the ninth one would be the active camo EVA. Although his right hand is broken. So, if you guys can see that, probably not, but, yeah, there you guys 
the completely broken. I've had it for a long time though. My 10th favorite would be this Arbiter um, from Halo 5 Guardians. And what I noticed on Arbiters is that they all have this guy right here. This little hook around their right shoulder. And hopefully I'm getting the blue Arbiter that comes with the shadow set too. So, And then that Arbiter from Halo 5 also comes with Master Chief with the cracked visor from when locking them, f locking him fight. Focus, idiot camera. Focus. There we go. So, yeah. Another cool thing is, I also got Spartan Fred from Halo 5 as well. Oh gosh, he just died. I'm just joking. Hold on, guys. Alright, that's pretty easy. Oh my goodness. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I just kept dropping them left and right. But yeah, that's what he comes with. And then, my 11th most favorite figure is the Prophet of Truth. Oh my god, the Prophet of Truth. Uh, ee, ee, uh. Yes, the Prophet of Truth that comes with this beautiful set, the Scarab. Now, what's super cool about the Scarab is that the Blue Commander, I've seen them on eBay for $70 plus $6. So, 76 freaking dollars just for that one figure itself. No weapon included, too. So, that's stupid, but, yeah. Um... But I've also seen him go for $25 and him for $25. That's the blue aesthetic, by the way. But check that out. The purple aesthetic does badass. Okay, so, yeah, the reason why the Prophet of Truth, uh, of course, instead of this being, like, these guys, I'm going to try and make this my translucent and active camo and half active camo figure stand. So, yeah, the Prophet of Truth is active camo. And look at that. He is so cool. If you guys have watched Halo 5, um... Or Halo Wars Guardians. What am I th I'm thinking of Halo 5. If you guys have seen uh, Halo Wars, they have all three of the prophets. I think Prophet of Gret, Prophet of Truth, and Prophet of something. I forgot the last one. But he is the translucent blue computerized one. So, yeah. Uh, that's him right there. So, those are my top 11 most favorite figures. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, and if you guys do like this video, definitely hit that like button. This is Halo Family 23, sign in out.